Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. But like I promised, like I said, we're still in Simonville. All right. We're going to pretty much stay there for a minute because he does everything. But I can say the colors do him wonders. And this was really actually off of Davidu's page. Uh, but Simon pretty much posted it on his page. But it is what it is. Okay. But Simon and his girlfriend Portia have called their sales entering in a birthday celebration for Haley which is Davido's daughter Haley okay I tell you those animated characters woo -wee. but they bring a lot to the table when it comes to kids um, birthday parties and I can say this was very fitting for somebody Haley's age as well as PJ's age now of course I think the tea party that Portia had was fabulous as well. But it probably would have fitted a 5 to 7 year old a little bit better than a 3 year old. But again, maybe it was all about Portia and what Portia wanted. Okay, even though PJ plays with uh, tea sets and teacups and all that kind of thing. Portia had the real shit going on. Alright, like it's breakable. Do you know you have 3 year olds out there, girl? But like I said, Portia fitted it to what she felt was better. But this is aesthetically pleasing to the eye. You have all the colors coordinating with everything. You had the face painting. You know, it, it gave PJ a breath of fresh air to just sit there and play. And just see all the beautiful, colorful, um, what do you call it, centerpieces floating all around and they even had the little bungee thing and it was in many kind of primary colors all right shoot they could have been having school teaching school right there and that is a gorgeous birthday cake that um they had for miss haley and uh we know father time simon g the man or i should say portia's man boyfriend he loves to eat but it don't seem like they may have had any good food for the adults. Because it was a kid setting. And fitting for them. Everything should have been like finger food. And Simon and the rest of the camp should have been throwing down those hot dogs, hamburgers, or chicken fingers. Alright. Because it was a kid's birthday party. And they were in tow with the theme. Now my question was, where was this located? Was this in Nigeria? But I can say, Davido's girlfriend, wife, fiance, whoever she is, she made sure to show up and show out. Okay? Portia won't be leaning in on him. You see, I ain't never seen Portia be up straight. You know, straight up and down with no little hugging going from side to side. Cause she ain't even got her hands behind his back. You see what I'm saying? They to the side. You can't really see it. But they ain't around his back. I can tell you that much. Child, Mrs. Davido, or the fiance. And she got edges too, Portia. Where your edges at, girl? I'm just saying. She was like, uh oh, you ain't finna. I'm finna lean into my man. You are not finna lean into my man this time. I caught you, girl. I hear what they saying in America about you. I heard what they say go down and go down in Atlanta. I heard how you got Simon. All right. So yes, honey, them Nigerian women don't play, and they be on point about their man and Mrs. 
Now, if you do show up, show out, and told Portia, get out, in a sense. Like, don't cross this line. It's an invisible line. Don't cross it, girl, because it is there. You know, women got, you know, codes that they use when they're like, you're infringing on their territory. And they're going to be like, Rawr, like a cat scratching somebody, okay? She's like, this is my multi-billionaire husband. You take your multi-millionaire boyfriend and go to the side okay and they show divvied up them pictures <laughs> but you can tell Portia is kind of feeling some kind of way it almost looks like she's kind of nervous and I've never seen Portia be nervous when she's taking a selfie somebody's taking a picture of her man she's like got her arms around here about leaning in on them calling them her boo and this that and the third but Portia, Portia seemed really awkward in this photograph in those photographs and I'm like what are you thinking about father time do you think you made a mistake by getting engaged with Portia tell us we want to know who's the photographer they got you looking all spiffy and young-minded. Yeah, you look kind of fresh there. And I think you know you're feeling yourself right now. Because you're chinning like, you're grinning like a Cheshire cat. Just grinning like a Cheshire cat. Like you don't, you got a hope of a secret and it's just booming and you're just ready to let it out. Or oh, it's that boo-boo. You need to go to the bathroom and let your shit out. Tell me one way or the other. It's hilarious, okay? But yes, my Nigerian family members, were they over there in Nigeria? And they had this little comings and go, but it can't be. Because I don't think she would have took PJ to Nigeria. That's just me thinking. He, Dennis probably didn't want her to go too far. And he damn sure didn't want her to go out the country. So this had to be over here somewhere in Georgia. I wonder where. Hmm. Can my Nigerian friends, family, help me out? Can y'all help me out? So we can get the destination of where this pretty gorgeous of a birthday party for a little girl. Okay. Because I'm like, why they didn't get more pictures of Haley? So Portia must have been taking these or their photographer that it seems like they have on deck every time they want to get a photogenic type optic going on all right but that's pretty Haley. i wonder what, what how old was she she's looking like maybe she's five years old maybe okay and we got baby girl pj in her dolce Gabbana sandals i saw that dg girl Portia be about all that name dropping, name tags, and all of that. Okay, and that's nothing wrong with it. If you got it, but Portia, do you have it anymore? Simon, I know you're trying to hide your wealth. I don't know why you think what you call it, trying to get some more money from you. But y'all divorced, so all that should be set in stone and settled. But PJ looks adorable with her little face painted. And hell, that's what she should have had at her birthday party. But like I said, Portia missed the mark in so many ways when it comes to doing what she needs to do. Like she don't even understand what a kid's birthday party is. Okay, because I was digging it and I gave her her kudos. But it just seemed like it was just a little bit too older for pj's age to even understand i mean portia had her dick down in a princess gown i'm like girl haven't you heard of costumes gone too far the girl didn't even look like she was comfortable but over here and portia had a reel of her where she was running up the stairs or running up the little stairs outside trying to get to that little costume character and to get her face painted she has so much joy so much excitement in her and i'm like i wish portia would have held on and uh, you know held on to the idea because it wasn't far-fetched it was like give the child like a disney type of birthday party but it is what it is maybe she'll do better by her fourth uh birthday party just have the girl in a cute sun dress and let have you know what i'm saying put her on her sandals or tennis shoe and just let her go butt naked wow you know with all her little friends all of them hollering at the same time making the parents have to take their out of van and they value 
<laughs> and the toddlers all on deck. Because them damn kids, when you got too many of them and trying to watch all of them at the same damn time. And they want this, that, and the third. Child, you be like, where's the alcohol? Where's the alcohol? Even though you know you can't have it. Because it is a kid's function. And we need every parent on deck. Every eyes, every hands, every mouth on them children. Okay? Because they can go- get gone out your eyesight in the flicker of an eye, honey. Blink, they gone. You trying to find them, okay? You trying to find them. They think you playing hide and seek. And you trying to find their asses to hope that they ain't breaking nothing or getting themselves in harm. You, harm's way. You see what I'm saying? Kids are something else. They slippery. They slippery like slime, honey. You be telling them to sit their behind down somewhere and eat their food. By the time you turn around and try to have a, a minute conversation with an adult, they gone. <laughs> You getting whiplash trying to find out where the hell they don't went to. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you don't bought somebody else's kid to a party and you are liable for that child. Can you see anxiety uh, sneaking up on your behind? Child, please. But yes, that porch, that pitch right down. She, she ain't like herself, y'all. Something wrong. I don't know if Mrs. Davido had to tell her something. Get her straight. <laughs> I don't know, but I would have been all ears for that one, honey, because she look like she don't play by her husband, her boyfriend, or whoever she may be to Davido. She don't play, <laughs> and she had her shades on. Like, girl, I I don't want to have to look at you the way I want to look at you, but I'm gonna put on my shades so you won't see the fierceness that I got going on. That if you touch him, you come too close to him. I need distance between y'all because I see how you get down and I see how they talk about you over there in Atlanta. Okay, so she was like, "Mm -mm, girl, you better hug up all on that Nigerian, but you better not be trying to slob, kiss, hug too close, putting your breasts on my man. You better not do it or you're going to get a slap. And I think they're more aggressive than we are. You uh, mess with their man or something important, they go straight for the hands on your behind and wait for the cops to show up later. And they might not even go to jail. <laughs> Because they so up there, they might have might have already bought the cops if you get my drill. But y'all, that's all I got for this video. I just wanted to show y'all the tenseness that it seemed like Portia had when it came to being filmed with or being a photograph with a woman who who got a man that's a billionaire and she's looking at Porsche like she crazy as hell. Like you better not touch him. You better not even lean in on him. You better not even look at him the wrong way. Because my eyes are on you until I see you exit out that door. Okay? Or out that yard that they were presenting this beautiful, colorful, magical um uh, piece of resistance type of a child's birthday party okay and that's just too too darling cute it really really is and you can tell pj enjoy herself with miss haley hopefully they'll have many many more play dates but like i said i don't even know if it's here in atlanta or it's here over in our country you know what i'm saying it might be in nigeria uh but either way however it went Haley had a beautiful celebration of her birthday party and pj was able to uh usher it in with her so that's good maybe they'll be lifelong friends like her and bailey uh but of course her and bailey are actually related but you know you can't never have too many friends okay friends how many of us have them friends yes before we, wait a minute, before we go any further, let's be friends. Yes, honey, baby, boom. So, hey, or should I say baby Bob? Do y'all remember that with Barney? That was my daughter's favorite cartoon character. And I definitely had him come to one of her birthday parties. I want to say it was her third birthday party as well. But I'm not quite sure because my daughter's 31 at this time. So you <laughs> you know that it gives me long time to be trying to figure that one out. Okay. But yes, I just wish we would have saw her eyes a little bit more. And I wonder was she around when Portia flew herself over there on the midnight plane. <laughs> midnight plane of Georgia. Okay. Okay, not the train, but she went over there in the plane, non-stop 12-hour flight with her sidekick, Lauren, her sister. Not the sister, but the other one. Okay, they rushed on over there to uh, see what was going on in Mr. Di- 
the Vidu was out there showcasing with them, showing them around Nigeria and all the hot spots, all the clubs and this, that, and the third, showing them the first class VIP treatment. All right. So I don't know if she was there, but evidently she might have got an earful if she wasn't. And she know Portia was invited to come to her daughter's birthday party. So they were going to have a little chit chat. Okay, so she might gonna like something that maybe one of her Nigerian sisters had told her about Portia Cummins and Goins when she showed up and thought she was showing out. Okay, because they still walked all over Portia when she got there. She thought she was going to be all hugged up on her boo. Honey, the women were in one car and the men were in another. Okay, okay, you say okay. So Simon was running that shit, or I should say Davido was running that shit, because if it was up to Simon, he would have had her right on in there. Sure would have. And Portia probably gave him an eyeful and a mouthful when they were alone back in the hotel. Okay? Yes, that's probably why he had to get that Mercedes. But then again, she balled him backwards, because a rose is much more expensive than a Mercedes. Okay? That's all I got. That's all I'm saying. But don't she look kind of like uncomfortable in that picture, y'all? Come on, family. Y'all see what I see? Do you see what I see? Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'll see y'all next video. Y'all take it easy. Bye-bye.